Hey friends, welcome to Hot News. Hope you're enjoying your time. In case you didn't know, AMD had their little press conference at E3 to announce a whole bunch of good stuff. We already covered this over on the UFD Tech Channel, so if you wanna check that video out, you can do that right up there. But to just give you a brief summary, I'll do that after I tell you about today's video sponsor, which is Displates, my friends. Check out our dope metal prints. Look at that, Final Space, yes please. Season two, coming soon. I'm excited for it, are you? Anyways, dope metal prints, go to displate.com forward slash UFD Tech official and enter UFD as a coupon code to save 15% off when you pick up these dope prints like Ninja Turtles, Final Space, Trunks, we have Cities, we've got a Pretoria one, we've got a South Africa one, we've got ones with guitar, it's just amazing, okay, check them out. Let's talk about a quick recap of everything that we covered on the main channel, which is that we're getting Navi on July 7th. The Navi RX 5700 XT is coming in at a price point of $450 and beats the RTX 2070 in most game, in a lot of games, at least according to what AMD showed, at that price point, so it's actually pretty good. We also get the non-XT version, the RX 5700, coming in at $379. It beats the 2060 and is slightly more expensive, so those are your options. There's also going to be a 50th anniversary edition of the XT. Uh, it's just going to be faster boost clocks and then has Lisa Sue's signature on it, supposedly. I don't know, or that could have just been the one that she had on stage. Ah, whatever. Supposedly, the TDP of those cards is 220 watts and 180 watts, respectively. Blower style coolers, the non-XT version has a boring, just kind of rectangular shroud, and then the XT version actually has a really cool reveal it dipping river system. I love it. I don't know how to describe it. Then there was plenty of announcements of Ryzen 3000. They showed off a little bit of performance for the 3800X, the 3900X, as well as the Ryzen 5s that they never covered at Computex, showing that it does typically beat the equivalent Intel CPU at the price point that you're getting, especially thanks to the 15% IPC improvement. And then there were a lot of uh, behind the scenes, or not behind the scenes, but after the fact discussions that AMD had with other uh, outlets talking about the architecture, how they're actually achieving the 15% IPC improvement. So if you want details for that, I'll leave a link in the video description. I'm not gonna go into it here. You can just check out Gamers Nexus's video right out there. Anyways, so that's the, the big stuff. 3950X was announced. That's the 16 core part with a 4.7 gigahertz boost clock. It looks really good, coming in at $750. Lisa Stewart said it's coming in September, then posted that it's coming July 7th. I don't know when it's actually coming. A lot of news outlets are still reporting September, even though the ad, whatever, who cares? It'll come out at some point. But today's video is about the CPUs that they didn't discuss on stage, which are actually really, really good value. So just like Computex, where AMD only spent their time talking about the super exciting stuff, they left the Ryzen 5 stuff to just kind of be put on the internet. It looks like they did that with the APUs for the Ryzen 3000 generation. And there's some good stuff in them that makes me kind of excited to pick one up in case anybody's actually looking to get an APU. So let's first start off with the fact that they are dropping the price, at least on the Ryzen 5 one. So that's gonna be $150 as opposed to the $170 MSR of the 2400G. The Ryzen 3 3200G is only gonna be a price drop of $1 according to the MSRP, so that's not like as great of a value as what you would want, but the 3400G is where I think AMD's just knocking it out of the park. So unfortunately, AMD already specified back at CES that we're not getting any APUs based on Zen 2, so these are still based on the 12 nanometer Zen Plus architecture, nothing super special about that. They're still gonna have the same Vega 11 and Vega 8 graphics, but there are some improvements to note. That's primarily to note that we're getting 150 megahertz boost on the GPU clocks on both of the chips. So for the Ryzen 5 version, that's a 12% increase. And then for the Ryzen 3 version, that's roughly a 13.5% increase on just the graphics base clock alone. And then we also have the base and boost clocks of the CPUs being increased, whereas the Ryzen 5 3400G is coming in at 100 megahertz better on the base clock, but 300 megahertz better on the boost clock. And then Ryzen 3 3200G is gonna come in 100 megahertz better on the base clock. And also it's the exact same. And they're also getting two megabytes extra of cash. The best part is, my friends, that they're decreasing the price on this. AMD also published some slides of the performance of the 3400G, and it looks like at 1080p, you're actually gonna be able to play most games at least at 30 FPS. Uh, they didn't specify the settings, at least in this slide. My guess is probably low to medium settings, probably closer to 
low, uh, but it's actually pretty good. Devil May Cry running at 45 FPS. They're both gonna still have included stock coolers and the Ryzen 5 is gonna get a few extra features as well, if I could just scale this down. So it's gonna have the Wraith Spire cooler, which is the 95 watt cooler. It's going to have high quality metal thermal interface material because the APUs aren't soldered, but AMD seems to think that they need to increase the thermal interface material here. And then it's also gonna have precision boost overdrive automatic overclocking included with the CPU. The Ryzen 3 doesn't really change that much, just has extra clock speeds. The Ryzen 5 3400G is the most exciting out of this. $150, you get a four core, eight thread CPU that's actually pretty decent, and then you can also play video games with it. This is probably the unsung hero of the announcements that are coming out of E3. This is probably gonna be a chip that a lot of people are gonna pick up for $150. Obviously, a lot of people do wanna see the chiplet version of the APUs where you're gonna have a Zen 2 core, but then also Navi chiplet on the CPU. That'll come probably next year, as we're seeing from the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Project Scarlet announcements. The SOCs that actually do that for consoles won't be ready till next year, so I think we could expect the same for or desktops parts to come out. So Computex next year is when I would expect that the fourth generation of APUs or the Ryzen 4000 series, that's when we're gonna see Zen 2 and Navi and see a whole lot more performance coming out of that, which is also gonna coincide with Intel releasing Project Z on it and We'll see how that actually develops. Anyways, what do you think of the Ryzen 5 3400G? What do you think of the Ryzen 3 3200G? I wanna hear from you down in the comments down below. Don't forget about today's video sponsor. We got Displate. Check out the dope metal prints at displate.com forward slash UFD tech official. Enter UFD as a coupon code. Check them out. Anyways, that's the end of today's hot news episode. That was weird. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our hot news related content. You can also check out our main channel, UFD Tech, for all of the other stuff that we do over there. I'm Brett. I forgot my outro. Love you too. Bye.